Yeah. Got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Uh-huh. But before we start the show, remember everybody, you can always support the Hodge Twins at officialhodgetwins.com. Speed it up. Pick you out a patriotic t-shirt today, or hat, or maybe a white privilege car, or maybe some bird products. Use discount code Chinese virus. I give you 20% off. Yeah. Charles Barkley. Like they always paint this man as having like strong opinions and yeah. he's um provoc he's provocative and all he is all he ever really does is says the truth. <laughs> Why is the truth provocative nowadays? Yes. Why does Charles Barkley have strong opinions? No, he don't. I have strong opinions. <laughs> Not Charles Barkley. Why are you giving him all the credit? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the hell is wrong with you people? Well, if you like He has okay opinions. He took the easy way out, if you ask me. I don't what? think he said that because he's tired of black people calling him a coon. <laughs> this ain't both of them at fault. I won't get called a coon today. All right, if y'all haven't seen what Charles had to say, check it out. Man, I think most white people and black people are great people. I really believe that in my heart. But I think our system is set up where our politicians, whether they're Republicans or Democrats, are designed to make us not like each other. So they can keep their grasp of money and power. So I, I see what you're saying. You're saying he threw Republicans. I, and I, I do have to admit, when it comes to a halftime show, whether it's NBA or college, Charles Barkley, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny the Liberal Smith. <laughs> <laughs> That's a damn good show. That's a damn good show. But unfortunately, because he's, these athletes are – uh, morons and their minions and their peasants to these damn Democrats and these liberal leaders, I don't watch them anymore because you're scumbags. I think for myself, I'm going to hit you where it really hurt. I'm going to hit you in them damn ratings. I'm going to hit your pockets. Hey, um, I mean, I agree with most of what Charles said. A little but, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like he says both Democrats and and Republicans are dividing this country. I, I, really, I honestly do not think so. Yeah. Like the racial divide that's in this country right now, yeah. what side of the political spectrum is that coming from? Who, yeah. Who's Who, painting the other side as white supremacists? It's Nazis. Yeah, they said President Trump was a white supremacist on Who, the news constantly. Yeah, they're constantly on TV talking about the biggest terror threat in this country is a white man. They also said, who AOC <laughs> said that the President of the United States has concentration camps at the border. <laughs> I mean... President Trump, he has strong opinions. When the people start kneeling for the national anthem, he stood up for our country and said, no, not in my country, and he called them some sons of bitches. <laughs> That's strong opinions, but Trump has been doing that for years. That ain't nothing new. He's been firing people left and right, and he's just standing for his country. It has nothing to do with their skin color. Yeah. It's, it's, if you want to make this country better, don't cry and kneel during the national anthem. Once you go to the White House and talk to the man, yeah. talk to people on the opposite – side yeah instead of just talking once you talk to both sides to try to come up with something to bring us all together but that whole thing about kneeling though that's divisive i mean it's it's divisive now nah, it's that political that's their their yeah. you know, first amendment right i get all of that but it's divisive but, but it's not only that it's yeah. built on a lie that white yeah. police officers are hunting down black people yeah who's painting these fake this fake narrative about cops are bad republicans are bad Trump is a Nazi. There's uh, concentration camps. Conservatives don't like gay people, don't like black people. Yeah, it's look, all a lie. Look at the, the new Georgia voting law. They <clears throat> said this is Jim Crow 2.0. That is coming from the left side, and that new voting bill down there. It's making it easier to vote and harder to cheat. Yeah. I mean, this is all coming from the left. i tell you like this, Charles. From what you said, to a certain degree, I agree with you. The elite, though. The elite. Yeah, I agree with you, yeah. but you can't blame the politicians because a politician's going to be a politician. They won't vote. They want your vote. Of course they're going to say, he's bad, she's good, yeah, that's, I'm good, he's bad. Of course, they're politicians. That's the natural progression of what Democrats are doing. They're yeah. just painting everybody as sexist, yeah. uh, uh, racist. Xenophobic. Uh, uh, they, they play that race card like it's no other. The left is even taking rich people. You brought that up in your comments. Rich people and uh, poor people don't like each other. No, I don't think it's that. Now the politicians are pitting the rich people against the poor people. Yeah. They trust socialism. Where is that coming from? It's all coming from left. 
Poor people hate rich people because they're being taught that. They're being they're yeah. teaching this garbage. That's not coming from the right. That race card, socialism. Yeah. That shit's all coming from the left. Yeah. Poor people that's not got nothing really going for themselves as of yet. Yeah. Even though they live in the greatest country of the country. They think rich people are evil. I yeah. mean, they created stuff that's making poor people happier. Yeah. Even though they poor, who don't have one of these damn expensive ass smartphones? Yeah. I mean, they did it all legally. It's like everything you said, Charles, I believe that, but it's on the elitist level. The yeah. elites of the world is doing that. Yeah. But these politicians, all yeah. that stuff you said, that's coming from the left. Yeah, and I'm not saying everybody on the right is perfect, but they're not batshit crazy like people on the Democrats. Those people are weird. The left makes everything about race, all gender, about your gender, about your, your sex, what you do in the bedroom. They play that card. You're never going to hear that. Let You're me never going to hear a Republican pan pander to anybody. Yeah. Okay, let me say this. Just like I said, it's coming off from the left, right? Like, what the hell was I going to say? Man, you going to pull another Joe Biden? Okay. Okay, I got it back. It came back. came back to you. Huh? Like, they've painted like Republicans as old white men. Look at the Democrats. Mm -hmm. They're uh, full of diversity. <laughs> right? Well, who's at the top of all that diversity? Yeah. Like, like, it's great to be diverse. We get that. So long as you earn that right to be yeah. there by the ideas you have, not by the color of your skin, yeah. by the ideas you're sharing. Yeah, diversity is great. But then they use that diversity to exploit our differences. Yeah. The left is doing that. Look at all the black people, the, the Latinos over here in the Democrat Party. Look over here. That's because that party stands for white supremacy. Who's pushing all of that? It's the Democrats. Yeah. They're exploiting our diversity and dividing all of us. It, yeah. They first did it with race. Now they're doing it with gender. Mm. Now they're doing it with sexuality. I mean, it's all coming from the left. Man, you smart as hell, man. Man, I told you this. Get serious on this. Man, that, that, man, man, that was beautiful, man. That was some Socrates shit you just said. Yeah, man. that's right. I'm the brains of this operation. Man, you can, man your new nickname is Light Skin Socrates. <laughs> Every last bit of that is coming from the left. And, uh, and I think he was talking about the elites, though, of the world. But uh, he said it specifically. He said the Democrats and Republicans. That's why he took the easy way out. Yeah, he's getting tired of being called a coon. He's getting tired of being called a coon. I might be wrong on that. You had, you, by today's standards, that was a very strong opinion. I disagree with that. I have strong opinions. Yeah. He has strong opinions. You, think you believe he... in what you believe in. You, you stand for yeah. what's good hey. and you... You think he's tired of being called a coon? I don't know, man. Hey, Charles, I give you some advice, man. Once I got rid of them, man, I feel so much better. I Life is I, so much easier. I'm going to tell you right now, Charles, I wish I'd have left them a long time ago. <laughs> this is actually a whole lot better on the right. It's yeah. a whole lot better. It's no victimization. Yeah. It's no excuses. I used you to earn what you 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 go out and earn what you want. You know what's you don't make excuses. On the left, it ain't nothing but victimizing, creating new victims, and using our diversity against this. Man, the Democrats are scumbags. Like what you were saying, like um, just to put in perspective with Kevin, man, that's why he dumped them. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean black think, folks. I mean the left. Yeah, they're a bunch of to me. Yeah, hey, <laughs> <laughs> there's some good <laughs> and some bad. <laughs> It's a whole lot of bad <laughs> over there. <laughs> what I'm saying is I used to think when I was a lot younger. Yeah. I used to think I was at a disadvantage because of the color of my skin. Yeah, because I, I was taught black. that garbage. I was taught that from the moment I was born. I used to I used to honestly think that. I used to think I was less than when I was younger because I was black. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of I got that from mama because what she went through. Yeah, my mama. Every went, weekend we was watching Roots at Mama's house. Yeah, that, my mama went through Jim Crow, all that. Yeah, KKK, the Democrats did all that. Everything that's horrible that's happened in this country is came from the left. Everything yeah. that's horrible in this entire globe it came from big government, socialism, and liberalism. They are the real problem. Yeah. But I'm gonna tell you like this: politicians gonna be politicians, whether you're Democrat or conservative. Yeah. But the person that should be keeping everybody honest is the media. They're actually enabling it. They the ones that enable it. They're not holding the left responsible. And sometimes they on the right, I say very minute times, they don't hold our people or conservatives responsible. They have a more hand in what's going on in our country because of the fake narratives that this country's racist. Yeah, if the the media held people accountable. I mean, freedom of the press, that was the whole point so we could keep our government honest. Yeah. And they're just 
Our government has proven over, over, and over in history that they're not going to remain honest. Yeah, that's what the whole point of freedom of the press. Yeah. But the press is enabling it and allowing all of this to happen. Yeah. I mean, like that whole new thing with the Georgia voting bill. Everywhere in the press I've seen it, this is Jim Crow 2.0, they call it. And that's media pushing that lie. And that's the media. It's actually easy to vote. So that's not politicians. That's the left-wing media who support Democrats, yeah. the Democrat Party. They're pushing that. So you was mostly right, but when you threw Republicans in there, yeah. you totally, like, everything th yeah. that's good in this country is because we had Republicans. We freed the slaves. I mean, Republican Party was an anti-slavery party when it was initiated. Everything is bad in this country. I'm not saying the people on the right are we're, we're perfect because we're not. We're not perfect, but we're not crazy like people on the left. Like when Trump called Baltimore a shithole. It's a shithole. He's just being honest. It doesn't make him racist, but he's white, so he's a white supremacist now. Yeah. I mean, y'all, I've been to Baltimore. It's high crime. Yeah. Rats look like so big, like damn rabbits. They don't I mean, like rabbits. They're like cats. I mean, that place. <laughs> and damn rats so big, they're eating the cats. <laughs> the homeless is out of control. The crime is. I mean, that place is a literal sh Oh, who's vacationing <laughs> in there in Baltimore? That's a hey, take it easy on him. These... Didn't Bernie Sanders call that place a shit? Yeah, he called it, <laughs> but he's he's got a deeper side of the name, so you get a pass. I'm just I'm gonna put it to you like this, Charles. Everything that's going wrong in this country is because of people on the left. They enabled it. left uh, uh, left wing media. They're painting the fake narratives, calling the other side bad, evil, yeah. Nazis, and racist. Yeah. The Republicans, we don't play that race call. We don't play that pattern. We don't play that game. We actually say all lives matter, and that's deemed racist. Yeah. I was going to say something. Yeah. Everything that's going wrong in this country, you even look at the organization Black Lives Matter. Oh. That money didn't even go to black people. It went to old white people. They, Yeah, they, how much was it? Millions or was it, it billions? Was a bi it was in a billion. They profited bi billions? It was over a billion. Off of young black men's deaths. Yeah. Did, yeah. Can somebody take LeBron James's image or your image and go out and make a, a bunch of money and you don't get none of the money? Who's doing that? White liberals. Liberals. They're Le manipulating and using our diversity against us to separate this country. Yeah. I mean, I even remember when Trump was still in office. I think it was some kind of, like maybe, uh, I guess it came up if he would go to the White House. He said, mm -hmm. hell no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a lot of them did. I mean, but I want this reason why I brought that up. He said he would never go to the White House when the troubles. I, I think I remember it correctly. Think about this. Martin Luther King back in, what, the 60s? Mm. Even though this country was systemically racist, it was a white supremacist actually in the damn White House mm. back in the 60s when he went to the White House. If Martin Luther King can go to the White House back in the 60s, why couldn't Charles Barkley go to the White House in 2020 when Trump was in office? Yeah. Why? Because... The left will spin you as an Uncle Tom, yeah. a sellout. Yeah. You love white people and you hate your own kind. Yeah. That's all coming from the left. And the comments people leave on our Twitter saying, I'm trying to be white. I love white people. No, nah, man, I'm just being me. Your skin color doesn't dictate how you think or how you behave or how you wear your pants. Yeah, that's it does. nothing to do yeah, with it. It does uh, the ticket <laughs> dictate how you wear your pants. Hey, man. <laughs> It look crazy. Serious on this. It's crazy to say when you see a white dude sagging his pants. Like man, that damn. What yeah. is you doing? Right, if I see a white dude walking with his pants sagging, I'm say you got too many black friends. <laughs> it's okay. I know you're not a racist, but you you need to need some more white friends in your life. Hey, I want to say this. And another thing, Charles. Look what they, this wasn't meant for Charles. This Barclay. ain't meant for Charles. But I understand where you come from. Yeah. It, politicians are gonna be politicians, but it's our media that's more the problem. Than anything, and because, and the politicians on the left, because in big tech, big tech, you got to remember when Biden that story came out with his son, that, that crap was censored. You couldn't find it nowhere. But you got people coming out of woodwork saying President Trump actually took him in a fitting room and raped them. You actually had oh that one was crazy. Yeah, yeah. You and they didn't censor any of that. I mean, all these fake narratives that Trump's a bad man, that he's a misogynist. It's all of his lies and only. The only media, left-leaning media, that's, you, that's doing that is the Democrats, man. All that horrible crap that you was mentioning when you came out and said that, a majority of that shit, I would say 90% of that is coming from Democrats and left-wing and big tech. They're yeah. pushing the divide. Yeah, like Republicans uh, are not. 
Let, just because Trump might stand up and say something, they are painting him as a white supremacist. Let, they're using that race card. Yeah, let me uh, let me say something like you brought up earlier. You, uh, the biggest threat in this country was white males. Yeah. I mean, and guns. And it's like, y'all obviously, okay. I mean, I think it's stereotypical to say uh, when there's a it's racist. Mass, to, yeah, it's mass shooting when a white person. It's, mm-hmm. it's got to be a white person mm-hmm. or whatever. But y'all are not counting the gun deaths. In these inner cities, which makes these shootings that these white people are doing. I mean, don't get me wrong. That is horrible. When you go in some place and 10 people die or 12 or 15 people die, yeah. that's horrible. Yeah. But if you actually count the gun deaths in these inner cities, for some reason, they don't label them as a. Uh, they label it as a. Um, it's a uh, gang violence. Gang violence, yeah. And those are not counted. If you. I mean, and it dwarfs the numbers of these white, uh, these so-called white supremacists and these white people doing this. I mean, they're both bad, but they paint like it only ha- white people are doing it. Right. I mean, all races are doing this. Yeah. And I'll say this stat, and I know this pisses people off, especially when they're black, but 50% of the violent crime in this country, including murders and rapes and all that stuff. Yeah. It's not it's, white people. It's not white people. It's committed by 6% of the population. I ain't going to tell you who that is because you might get too triggered. Just take a wild guess who that is. They're not white. Someone might look like me. <laughs> I mean, it's it's uh it's black males. Black males, man. Fifty percent of the crime when they only make up six percent of the population of the country. That's crazy as hell. Now, if they got on the news and said that fact, they said the biggest t- uh, threat in this country is a black man between the ages of uh, sixteen and fifty. They would say it's racist. They would say it's racist. But, but when you do it to white people, it's fine. But when you look at these statistics, yeah. it's actually a fact. Yeah. Facts can't be racist. Lies can be racist, but facts can't. I mean, everything that you said in that video, I mean, I don't, I'm not going to hold it up to my, I ain't going to hold it against politicians because they're there for one thing, to well, get you your got, vote. Yeah. I hold our media accountable because they, the media, Michael Max even said this, they can make the innocent look guilty and the guilty look innocent. Yeah. And they've done that for the last yeah, he says the most powerful entity in America. That's He's, who. That's the the main culprit, not our politicians, because they just gonna be politicians gonna be a politician. Yeah. But our media can hold these people accountable and keep yeah. them in check. They're not doing their job. Politicians gonna do what they gonna do. Yeah, it's our media that should should be pointing the blame. And big tech now, big tech, Twitter, Facebook, they're they're so much bigger than our the media me- now. Yeah, they're a bit of a problem too. They're the real copes, not politicians. That was a damn good show. Yeah. Mike Lindell, true patriot. He needs our help. Here's a man who started from nothing, built a great company, great products, have seen rock bottom, have seen the worst. He ran through drug addiction. Yeah. I mean, this man has accomplished so much thing. He's the epitome of the American dream. He worked hard, has a successful business, great products. And just yeah. because he supported the president of the United States, yeah. they've taken him out over 20 stores. They're banning him on social me- media. Yeah. He's having a tough time even marketing his products. Yeah. In this country, he's a man of principle. He has employees. He's got a great product. Mm. And just because he has different uh, political opinions, big tech wants him to go away. But we're not going to let that happen yeah. on our channel. They, they want to crush this business, yeah. too. So support Mike Lindell. Go to MyPillow.com and use discount code HOGSTWINS. Get up to 60% off. Yeah. We take care of our patrons in this country. Don't forget, go to OfficialHogsTwins.com. Go to the Fight Censorship tab. Hit the links. Follow us on Telegram. Follow us on Rumble. And follow us on YouTube. They haven't censored us there yet. Yeah, they're actually being fair. Yeah. Go to officialhawstwins.com and pick you out a patriotic t-shirt today. Hell, I'm even giving you 20% off. Just type in discount code Chinese virus. We call it Chinese because it's from China. We making t-shirts great again. Yeah.